This week on the Media Boss Podcast. Well, Just Me Magazine was created in 2012. It was to assist Black-owned businesses and entrepreneurs, new businesses, with marketing and advertising their business. Now, what happened was I had so many friends that started a business, but they said, oh, I can't. I said, why are you don't advertise? Podcast. My name is Dr. Barrett Matthews, and I am happy to have you here today. Man, we have a great show for you today, and I know you're probably saying Barrett's going to say he has a great guest. Yes, I am, because I do have a great guest. I can't help it if all my people are dope, man. It's just like that. But I, all, other than just my great guest, I have some great, you know, great content for you as well. I just want you to be ready for that, because it's going to be a great episode. But for those of you who are wondering, what is the Media Boss Podcast? Well, what is a media boss? How about that? A media boss is someone who is controlling their media. See, there are a lot of people right now who have businesses, maybe yourself right now, and you're sitting there hoping that someone will call you to interview you, hoping someone will bring you on their show, or maybe have you in their magazine or in their book or whatever. And I say, why don't you be the boss and create your own? That's what a media boss does. They own their media, they control their media, and they stop waiting for someone else to dictate it for them. So that's what we're here to do with Media Boss Podcast and bring people on here who are media bosses themselves that can show you how you can become a media boss. Now, what I need you to do, though, before we even get started, is make sure you're subscribing to the podcast. Make sure you are sharing it with people. Make sure you are letting everyone know that you are listening and watching the Media Boss Podcast. OK, do that. Do that. So what we're going to do to start off the show is what I call the Media Minute. What's the media minute? The media minute is where I take a little bit of time to tell you a little something about the media that can help you, or that's something you just may want to know that I, I found interesting, and hopefully you will too. And today, I, I found an article that says that Apple, we all know Apple, Apple is going to adapt, um, it, it's called Dope Thief. It, it, it's, it's about, it's a show they're gonna do with Ridley Scott. I don't know if you're familiar with Ridley Scott, he's a famous director. And the dope thief is about and um, well starring up uh, Brian Brian Tyree Henry. He's the actor from the show Atlanta. But their, Apple is going to take this show and and make it on, on one of their shows. We'll take that podcast and make it one of their shows. And it's about a, a guy, well a couple guys who try to do this little illegal operation, but it backfires on them and they end up being tied up into a big drug cartel accidentally. So Apple Studios is going to produce this. And they're bringing on David Zucker as well. These are the big names. You've probably seen their names on TV or movies somewhere, but they're bringing on some big names. And then check this out. Apple is going to be looking in the future, but not right now, but they're reportedly looking to fund development and production of podcasts. And then they're going to take a look at turning any podcast into TV and film projects. How cool is that? So that's something I just thought that you might find interesting because I, I found it kind of interesting. So hopefully you did too. So here we are on the Media Boss podcast and I have a special guest. This is someone who I have known for years and I am happy to have her as a guest um, on the Media Boss podcast. She has a, a magazine called Just Me Magazine. Check it out, guys. 10 years, 10 years. She actually was gracious enough to let me in the magazine. She did an article with me. She also is a creator. She is a producer. She has a YouTube channel. She does everything because you know why? She's a media boss and she does something I definitely want to talk to her about. She does a blog. A lot of you aren't blogging. I want to have her talk to her. So as I keep rambling here, I need to just bring her on here to the, to the Media Boss podcast. And who is this person you may ask? Well, this person is none other then my friend Alice Boswell. Alice, welcome to the Media Boss Podcast. How you doing? I'm um, great. How are you doing today? <laughs> I am doing marvelously well and improving, and I'm glad to have you here today. Uh, Thank you. Got, yeah, you know, we got to see each other in, in person a couple person. months ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been months. years. It has yeah. been a while, huh? <laughs> yeah, y'all should have saw the look he gave me. I'm like, you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, of course I remember you. As I told her, there were a lot of people that I did not know. 
but I knew who she was. So uh, with that being said, Alice, man, you got a lot going on. First, let's talk about Just Me magazine. Ten okay. years. Ten okay. years. And, and see, I want to talk start with that because I know a lot of y'all, we all turn on the Media Boss podcast. You hear me talk about other podcasts, TV shows, a live stream, but, and books even. And you don't hear me talking a lot about magazines, and I want I want to have you talk talk a little bit about that. Tell what is Just Me Magazine? Well, Just Me Magazine was created in 2012. It was to assist Black-owned businesses and entrepreneurs, new businesses, with marketing and advertising their business. Now, what happened was I had so many friends that started a business, but they said, "Oh, I can't." I said, "Why you don't advertise?" Well, we don't need to advertise, and we all know if you have a business, you must advertise, right? So that, that's a lesson that I'm pretty sure Garrett has, Barrett has said that many of times, right? So I'm like, okay, no, you have to advertise. Social media is good, free advertisement, all right? And then you, and in some instances, you still pay with, you know, on the platform, but you still got to get your business at that. So I tell you what, since you say you can't afford it for free, send me some pictures, send me your story. I'll put it in the format of a magazine and I send it out to the, to the, to the people. And that's what I did. And I, I actually did it free for many years until 2020. And then I just decided to make it into a business where I charge for the advertisement now um, to advertise in the magazine. Um, but and that's what it was for. You know, so then I have up and coming um, entertainers who want to be in the magazine. I have uh, my first celebrity interview was Tony Terry. So I was really, really excited yeah. about that. Yes, he was okay. on the cover. Um, so you all can go check that out. Um, my second one was um, a young gentleman here um, coming up and he's having a listening party. Well, he having, he's dropping his album very soon called Sean White. So, okay. um, and I actually, and because of what I did with Just Me Magazine, got me into other media. You know, it, it was, it was, and it's now, exciting. I want, okay, I, I don't know which era I want to talk, talk, talk to you about. <laughs> No, because I got a lot going through my mind right now with just what you said. I know. So first of all, I want Just Me Magazine. Is it a digital magazine or is it a print magazine? Okay, so it, it's, it's really kind of both. I, I'm thinking I'm going to go into the print, but right now it's digital, right? right. Now, who's ever on the cover, they like, hey, Alice, I got to have a copy of this because you smoked this cover and I got to show everybody I need to print. So that I will only print if someone requested it. That's all. Well, yeah, that, that's smart. And there should be an upcharge for that. That's to say. And, and see, that's business, right? That yeah. is an upcharge, right? Because I don't print, but I will print if you're on that cover and you like, I like how you did that cover. I, yeah. I need this. It's that's, upcharge. That's right. And that, that, that's the way it should be. Because I mean, everything's digital now. It's like, I yeah. mean, to be honest with you, if you need a cover of it, you can just pull it up on your phone or whatever, and you can go to a printer yourself. But <laughs> I'm just saying. That's it. That's, and you can. I, I, you, you, you had me. Okay, I got to tell you a quick story. Okay. Um, well, about, yeah, about 2019, I was in Atlanta for a, a media event um, for a radio station down there. And one of the people who had a show on this, on this little station was Tony Terry. And for those of you who don't know, Tony Terry is a is an R and B singer. If some of you may not know who he is, he's an R and B singer. Ter Tony Terry goes back to the '90s as far as as far as uh, his R and B when he he had like two or three hits back then. And uh, but he you know just like a lot of artists back then they, they, that star might have faded, but people remember them for their hits, and people remember Tony Terry. And and I'm see here's the thing: I'm from the Washington D.C. area. Well, so is Tony Terry. Yeah. He's from the Washington D.C. area, so he was really kind of big here. Well, the funny thing about it is, I reminded him of something that he doesn't remember at all. Of course, he doesn't. But there was a long time ago. I used to sell life insurance and college funds, and you know, with investments and so forth. I remember I was at a traffic light, and he pulled up next to me. Oh, wow. And me and my bold self, I made him pull over into the Seven Eleven, and I talked to him about trying to get a college fund for his. <laughs> amazing yeah i remember that like it was yesterday it was because i remember exactly where we were the traffic light the 7-eleven everything it was just so he doesn't remember at all of course but i right. reminded him of this when i ran into him a few years ago <laughs> so i got a picture hey, did he remember no he didn't remember that okay. of course not, he remember that. but it was just it was just funny that, that these things happened like that now you just bring up tony terry so yes 
back to you, because that's what we should be talking about. Um, <laughs> now, as far as Just Me Magazine, what kind of challenges did you run into getting it started? Because I know someone is out there thinking, you know, I was thinking about starting a magazine. What kind of challenges did they run into? And what kind can they avoid now since you get some experience? Yeah, so when I started the magazine, and this is the truth, I started it online and I started it with a picture of my niece on Vista web print, Vista website. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know about the laws of taking people pictures and put it in on there, you know, because right, you right, have to right. have permission. Oh, and, yeah. You know, oh yeah. You know, um, you can use celebrity pictures, but there's still things that you have to follow to go through that. Um, people to send me pictures that they did a photographer, there's laws with that. Rules, you know, you got to, you know, publish people. So it was a lot. It's a lot that you really have to learn. And I didn't know. Um, so throughout the years, I learned exactly um, mm -hmm. what I'm supposed to do. And even when I started to actually form it into an actual magazine, mm -hmm. I had to, you have to learn the format of the magazine. Like, I didn't know when you do a magazine, it's for, it, it has to go, it goes in fours, right? Mm -hmm. So if I have content that we, that's only eight pages, well, let's say I have content that we just only 13 pages, that's not going to work because if it happens to get printed, it has to print by fours, right? So I mean, oh. I have to find additional content for oh, the magazine. Wow to cover those extra three pages to make it 16 pages. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah that, that is, see, that right there is a nugget that y'all better be writing down. <laughs> yes. I'm serious, that, that's, a, that's some good stuff right there. That yeah, is, so you, you have to, as far yeah. as content, uh -huh. you don't have to, okay, I got people to write for me and people are willing to write for me because I'm, I explained it to them, it's, it's it's, I can't pay you, but it's more experience for you. So you can get your friends, your family, you know, co-workers or whoever's do actually actually doing something. Barrett even wrote something. Yeah, I, sure did. Awesome. I enjoyed it. Yeah. And, and, and you send something in like that. Um, it was another thing, too, that I did. I, I use and, and this may be cheating, but it's not right, because this is what it's for. PLR. Oh, yeah. Please. Use Private PLR label. if you're going to start a magazine because that will be your best friend. Now, if you use PLR, you better have Grammarly on the side. It's an yeah. additional $30 maybe a month, but it will make your magazine sound much better because what PLR have, they're not Grammarly correct. There so you, you just send it out to somebody that's going to call you, you, you out because the right, they did so it. Ain't <laughs> yeah. You own the yeah. rights. So, that, yeah. So you own I mean, the rights, but you change it up and you make it fit for yourself, right? Exactly. PLR is really your best friend. And it actually would give you some content in your own head because you're like, oh, okay, well, let me change this up because this happened to me. Let me change this up because I know somebody that happens. It gives you great con um, content. So you get your content from PLR. That's what I say. So when did, when did you realize that, you know, I got this down pat? It wasn't until... I say six years into it because okay. I'm still learning. All right. I'm still learning to put the um, content on the, on the front page. I'm still learning to put um, where to put the articles, right. how to put them in columns instead of just putting it on one page. And it just, cause it used to just go on one page and that was it. Like you're reading a yeah. school paper. So <laughs> uh, how to put the pictures, you know, it, it's the same. I'm still learning. I still go out, pick up magazines, and I look at my bad magazines, and I flip through them to get some ideas of what I'm yeah. supposed to be doing. And, and see, one thing I can tell just by your expression is that you're having fun learning it, though. I am. I am, Barrett. I am love. I, I love this magazine so much. The more I do it, the more I, I am. I'm 10 years. 10 years. That, and that, I, I don't, I don't, I hope people can grasp that. That's, yeah. that's, I mean, a decade of running a magazine, your own magazine. I mean, I don't, I don't know the stats. You may know about how long magazines usually last when people start them, but I'm pretty sure they're not usually 10 years. No, no. You know, I think mine last long is because people who's come there, these are new business owners. So this mm -hmm. gives them an opportunity to advertise for a low cost because they don't have to pay the $5,000 to be in a magazine because that's what you're going to pay. So right? is it hard to find them, the business owners? No, I actually, I, I, I go in the neighborhood. I talk to people that's on social media. Mm -hmm. um, 
that's how I find my people. And then it's word of mouth. Hey, check Alan's out. So like now, you know, um, every year I do a um, black holiday catalog. Okay. All right. So instead of paying the regular price for advertisement, this is a perfect time, especially if you don't advertise to get your business out there. And it's all black people doing all their, you know, their, their, if you're doing selling jewelry, okay, mm-hmm. if you're selling CBD, whatever you're doing, you can put it into the magazine uh, catalog and pay way less. I think the first year I started, I only charged like $25 for a half a page and wow. $35 for um, a full yeah, page. Yeah, it's definitely time to raise those prices, yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> I did. I, but I keep it. I still keep it inexpensive, right? Because mm-hmm. you're not paying a thousand dollars or three hundred dollars, yeah, yeah. you know. Because this is the one time a year that I'm going to let you just advertise to show you the advertising do work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and and I'm not even charging you to push the information out. I like that. Right, like that. I'm charging you just to for this for my time to get that magazine in, there, and I take my money. And I pro- push it out so people can download. Go because the consumers download it for free. You mm-hmm. pay for the ad, they could download it for free, and it's for Christmas, so they're going to be shopping anyway. So why not shop with you? I like that. So, Alice, what are you doing with YouTube? YouTube, okay, on YouTube, I haven't what I haven't been on that for a while, but then I started going back when I started the um I started a second magazine called All of Us Magazine. So. Mm-hmm. Let's be clear. Just Me Magazine was created for Blacks because that's who I'm. That's I'm Black. Yeah, that's yeah, who I'm yeah, associated yeah. with it. However, I had other people that said, "Hey, I want to be on the cover of that magazine. I want to be in the magazine." Okay, I tell you what. Let me see what I can do. I started All of Us Magazine. That's for everybody, Black, that's White, smart. everybody. That, <laughs> so at that Let's point, all of us. I said, I like "Okay, that. I, yeah." So me doing interviews with small business owners and entertainers and and the celebrities, I'm like, okay, I need a platform where I can do these interviews and keep it in with the magazine. So Just Me Magazine, All of Us Magazine, I changed. So now I have a podcast called Jam with Alice, and that's how I got. We're gonna talk about this, yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right. So yeah. and. And I had, like, once again, I, I interviewed Tony Terry. I actually interviewed Michael Cooper from um, Confunction. Confunction, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, oh. Many yeah. entrepreneurs. Um, and, and I'm enjoying it. So, yeah. That is wonderful. I, look, I, I can see you glowing. You're just so happy. About I, this. Am, I am. I, I, love, I, love my, I love my project. So, so the, your do. podcast, how long has that been going on? Well, okay, this this is my second, this is actually my third one, because when I started Just Me Magazine, I produced a podcast called Chicago Girlfriends, which we I later changed it to CGL, CGL Entertainment. Okay. All right, so we're not together anymore, and that was on intellectualradio.com. So then I did Pieces of Alice, and that one is basically more about me, okay. uh, about my personal life. Um, and then I did Jam with Alice. I just started Jam with Alice within the last year. Okay. Well, yeah. fantastic! That that is, man, that is incredible. Because I mean, like I said, you you are definitely showing people yeah. what it is to be a media boss, and then this yes. is what this is what this podcast is about. I, I'm I'm really, really, really hoping that everyone is taking note and getting some encouragement, because I know there's someone out there sitting on the fist about should they do this, should they do that, can they do all this? They See, can. One thing I tell people is that you can put your media out all at once. You can be I, my, my motto is be everywhere all at once. Yes. And that's what you're doing. Yes. You're, you're able to be everywhere all at once. And people think, oh, how can you do that? You can't do it. No, she's showing you. She's doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, doing that, it. And you know what? Let me tell you something. So most people say what they can't do. And, and, and you know, I can't do this. I can't do that. I was 47 years old. Actually, 45. You're only 25 now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going down, but <laughs> I was 47 years old when I decided, I'm like, you know what? I'm tired. I grew up in an era where um, you listen to your parents, you listen to your friends. And because I was an introvert, I cared what people thought about me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I had to come out of that 45. I'm like, you know, what? I'm sick of this. You know, I wanted to become an actress and they're like, oh, you, you can't do that. Um, nobody's going to like you. You're, you're not beautiful like them other people. 
God. you know, oh my God, it, it was so much. So I'm like, okay, then you have your parents who say, oh, no, you need to go get a job. That's what you need to go yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, I heard that one before. <laughs> right. So um, at 45, I got up, I said, you know what, this is it. I'm, I'm going to start my magazine. I'm going to get up and I'm going to do the things that I want to do. So I got my first acting gig. Ah. Went out my first time at 45 for a play for I played Capernia and To Kill a Mockingbird. Wow. And that's a hard role to play. Right. Wow. And I didn't think I was going to get it, but the, the, the director called me and said, You got the part. And when I got through that night, opening night of my show, I had people come up, all types of people come up to me and say, Oh, we loved your parts. You did really well. It's a, um, how you've been acting for how many years? I'm like, I just started. They're like, No. No, I'm like yes, yes. <laughs> and then and after look. that, I I started acting even more. Um, um, Maurice Prophet, who has a production studio here in Chicago, B Side Productions, he started putting me in his place. He even put me in one of his films, two of his films. That is so funny. One of my best friends is named Maurice Prophet. I've been texting with him with that. That's like... <laughs> yeah, that's I hope is he is he a, is he a... no no he actually used to be a TV director, a TV news director in North okay. South Carolina, but it's just kind of funny. But that's, yeah, it's funny because usually when those things start happening, those same people before will say, "Oh, we knew you could do it. You had it in the all the time." Yeah, there I know. you go. I know. There you go. I know. There you go. So, oh, but, I knew it. No, you didn't know it. But I had to. See, and, and I tell anybody, your audience, my audience, you have to know it in yourself. And I had to believe in myself. Mm -hmm. Barry can tell me all day long he believes in me. Yeah. And if yeah, I don't yeah. believe in myself, That's I'm true. never going to get up off my behind to go do what I'm supposed to do. That is a fact, Alice. So what we're going to do right, right now, we're going to take a break. Okay. And we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back with more of the Media Boss podcast where we had talked before with Alice Baldwell. So, Baldwell, so stay right there. We'll be right back in two or two. How are you going to learn everything you need to know about starting a podcast? Well, at the Create Your Podcast Weekend, we put it all in two days and help you get your podcast going by next week. That's right, by next week. All you have to do is come to the Create Your Podcast Weekend and let us show you how to get your podcast up and running. We will show you how to attract listeners. We will show you how to get people to pay you for your products and services. What products and services? The products and services we show you how to create all at the Create Your Podcast Weekend. All you have to do is go to createyourpodcastweekend.com and get registered today. And we have special bonuses. Some of you will even get us to give you the equipment to start your podcast. That's right. We're going to give some of you the podcasting equipment to get started. Go to createyourpodcastweekend.com. That's createyourpodcastweekend.com and get started on your podcast by next week. Starting a podcast can be a daunting task. There's a lot that goes into it, and you're probably wondering if you're able to handle it. Well, why don't you just take two days and let us teach you how to do it at the Create Your Podcast Weekend. That's right. We're going to show you all the aspects of how to start your podcast, how to keep your podcast going, how to attract listeners, and how to make money with your podcast. CreateYourPodcastWeekend.com. Get registered right now. We are back here with the Media Boss Podcast. I'm Dr. Barrett Matthews. I told y'all I had a great guest. We are having some fun here. I have none other than Miss Alice Boswell with me. Alice, I want to continue our conversation because I want to talk to you about something that a lot of people seem to be getting away from, but it is definitely something that can be fruitful for them, and that is blogging. Oh. Yeah, look, she starts smiling when I bring it up. So let's talk about what. Tell me about your blog. Uh, my blog is called Pieces of Alice, and it, again, it's, it's, it's pretty much about me, but it's also inspirational, so I try to put things in there that's tips for mm -hmm. business or tips for your life, meditation, whatever, um, love. I talk about some of everything. Yeah. I don't do it as often mm -hmm. as I should because yeah. uh, I'm busy, but I do, blogging is therapeutic. 
Mm. So if I'm feeling a certain way, like I just wrote something about um, being in a love triangle, right? Mm. So, but I was feeling a certain way. So if you don't feel that you can talk to anybody, write it down. And this yeah, is me. Yeah. I go and I write it down and I wrote it in a blog. So blogging is really, really good. It's therapeutic. It's helpful. It's, you know, mm-hmm. and, and you're sharing your thoughts and your ideas that, that actually help somebody else. I say all the time because I'm in a magazine, share your story. It'll save someone's life. Share your story. Mm-hmm. It'll save your own life. Amen. Right. So do, yeah, do I you, love blogging. Do you, um, tie in things that can lead them to your business or your magazine in your blog, maybe links or something like that? I do not. Sometimes I do, then sometimes I don't. And majority okay. of times I don't because that's specifically for me. Right? Okay. Okay. Um, um, if I'm going to do a blog for Just Me Magazine, then of course I'm going to tie everything <laughs> to that. <laughs> and I thought about it, but I said I'll stick with um, Pieces of Alice. So Jam with Alice is part of Pieces of Alice. So I said I am going to start incorporating that a little bit, letting people know what you know, you know who's going to be okay. on there. Okay. You there know. you go. There you go. Yeah. So now I want to do one thing before we part ways today. I want to give you an opportunity to let everybody know anything that you have going on that they may want to take part in. All right. Well, it's Just Me Magazine 10 year anniversary. Yay. And I am so excited. You have no idea. I have former radio star here from Chicago. Her name is Lisa E. And she's helping me put together an extravagant private event uh, on September 23rd. Okay. So um, we are looking for sponsors and we are looking for vendors. Um, if you want to place an ad in the program booklet, we're expecting at least over 200 people there. Plus, it's gonna, wow. she's going to invite a lot of, she knows a lot of celebrities. So she's going to invite some celebrities and people you know, with titles. So um, <laughs> we actually have comedian um, T. Bilzer, who's going to host and perform, do a stand up for us. Okay. And then uh, R&B singer Sean White is going to perform. He's going to do a whole set for us. That just for wonderful. me. Just for that's, me. Yes. <laughs> ah, that's wonderful, man. That, that's incredible. And guys, I have something I want to give you everyone as well. My complimentary training on to help you guys get more clients for yourself, get, get, yes. I'm sorry, get more paying clients. And that is five ways to paying clients.com. Go to five ways to paying clients.com and get my free gift that I have for you guys as well. So one thing I want to say right now, Alice, is this been a plum pleasing pleasure. I am so yes. glad to have you here on the Media Boss podcast. And thank you so much for joining me. You are welcome anytime to come back. Oh, I, I enjoy it. Thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate it. I really do. <laughs> no, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Alice Boswell. Make sure you check her out. Make sure you follow her. Make sure you subscribe to everything that she is doing. What we're going to do right now, we're going to take one more break. We're going to come back with our Boss Out segment. And I'll see you right back here on the Media Boss Podcast. Why should you contact Media Boss Club right now? Well, because you can get a podcast done for you. You can learn all the aspects that go into putting together a great podcast and have someone else do it for you. That's right. We will build your podcast around your content and make it so you can concentrate on the money-making activities of your business. Contact MediaBossClub.com. That's MediaBossClub.com today and let us get your podcast started right now. Let's face it, you've been talking about starting a podcast for quite some time, but you haven't started yet. Why is that? Could it be that you just don't have the time because your day-to-day keeps you so busy? Or could it be that you don't want to learn all the technical aspects that go into putting together a quality podcast? Well, at Media Boss Club, we take care of that for you. How would you like to have a done-for-you experience? That's right. At Media Boss Club, we build your podcast for you. We will edit your podcast. We will put in the music for you. We even put in commercial breaks that you can put your advertisers in. We will take care of all of the uploading to the great podcast platforms that are out there. That's right. We do everything. All you have to do is just right now, go to MediaBossClub.com. That's MediaBossClub.com. And let us handle the heavy lifting for you.
Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Media Boss Podcast. Man, was that great. Alice Boswell, she is fantastic. Make sure you check out her magazine. Make sure you check out her blog. Make sure you check out her podcast. Make sure you check her out on YouTube. <laughs> like I'm saying she's everywhere all at once, and you can do the same thing, everyone. So now, guess what? I want you guys to take advantage of what I just offered you, which is my complimentary training for you, five ways to payingclients.com. Also, check us out on Patreon, man. Check us out on Patreon. You can actually support the podcast, the Media Boss podcast on Patreon, and you can get some perks. We have some great projects for you guys just for helping us out. Now, here's the thing. If you really, really are serious about becoming a Media Boss, I want to invite you guys to go to the Make Money from Media Challenge. That's right. The Make Money from Media Challenge is a five-day virtual challenge. All you have to do is go to makemoneyformediachallenge.com. If you check out the VIP package, you got some extra perks. You may even win a prize. That's right, a prize. You, you may win a, an iPad. You may win a, a, a studio kit to, to set up your own studio. You may win a vacation. You may win all these things. I, I don't know, but you got to sign up. <laughs> so uh, what I want you guys to do is just get started with that. Now, if you're looking to start your own podcast and you want to have some of the stuff done for you, Text the word podcast. Text the word podcast to 929-244-4323. 929-244-4323. Text the word podcast. And lastly, guys, I want to make sure you are subscribing to the Media Buzz podcast. Let everyone know that you are following us. Share it with everyone. And make sure you go in and write us a great review about how you love the Media Boss podcast. So with that being said, guys, I only have one thing left to say. Y'all know what that is. That is Media Boss out.